Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today, we're going to use VARA HF with WinLink. Now, why would you want to use VARA HF instead of VARA FM or Packet? Well, in an actual disaster, things might just be down. Uh, you know, the local communication systems might not be working at all, and you may want to get some health and welfare information out to uh, your family that lives out of area or even your neighbor's families and get that done so they're able to, well, to give some comfort to those folks out there. Anyway, um, VARA HF right now is kind of the, the hot ticket for HF communication, and I'm going to try to show you the easier ways of using it. Uh, I also am going to show you what's called uh, best channel and next best channel, uh, and that's how we're going to do our connection today. Anyway, with that, hey, wait. If you think about it, click the subscribe button for me. I know I harp about this, but I really love to have subscribers. And when I come out with a new video, if you click the bell icon, you're going to get a notification. Have an opportunity to be one of the first people to watch it. Anyway, with that, um, on with the show. Well, okay, let's get started with setting up uh, VARA HF in WinLink, shall we? Uh, this is a quick demo just kind of to show you the ropes on how to use it and all that fun stuff. All right, so with no further ado, let's go ahead. We'll launch VAR, uh, excuse me, we'll launch WinLink. And in WinLink, we're going to use the pull down here. And we are going to select VARA HF WinLink. And I'm going to click on Open Session, and this is going to open up not just this, but it's automatically going to open up the uh, uh, VARA HF program minimized. Now, a couple quick things. Um, under settings in here, we want to go ahead. We've got VARA setup, of course, and this is just going to set everything up. And if you have a registration key, you'll put the information in there. And, of course, these ports, these TCP ports are important, 8300 and uh, 8301. Um, and uh, allow VARA to check for updates via internet, which is fine. Uh, retries I have set to 10. Uh, all the rest of these boxes I don't typically uh, check, but uh, you know you may need to check them based on whatever your uh, uh, connection configuration is. My next step, of course, is to click on the sound card setup, and let's go ahead and make sure that we have the right devices selected for the radio that we're using. Uh, I'm using my FTDX3000 and it has built-in USB, but even if it didn't uh, and I was using a signal link, it would also be a USB sound card. Uh, there's lots of uh, videos I've done in the past that discuss identifying sound cards and COM ports and stuff like that. So if you're curious about this, uh, you know, just, just go ahead and uh, dig through some of the older videos. But by the time you get to this point, I'm assuming that you know how to use uh, and set up your sound card. Let me go ahead and close that. Now, under settings over here, under the VARA WinLink portion, here is the TNC setup, and that's where that 8300 port was really important, okay, is to know that uh, the virtual TNC port is 8300. And, of course, the data port is one up from that by default, and I don't believe that that's changeable in this. Uh, session bandwidth, uh, 2300 is uh, the default. I stay with that. Uh, let's see, and of course uh, the path to my VARA FM, and it's going to automatically launch it when I launch the uh, VARA uh, setup here. I'm going to say OK, and that's all set to rock and roll. It's going to relaunch. I'm going to have to bring this back up. I'm also, though, I'm going to need to make sure that I have my system configured properly for push to talk okay uh, in my case even though it's an FTDX 3000 the FT uh, the Yesu FT 2000 configuration works um, and of course I select USB digital this is the COM port and the settings for my cat control because this is going to change all my settings uh, the PTT port which is optional don't even 
don't even worry about that. We don't need to use that. Okay, we'll click update on this. And again, bada bing, bada boom, everything's going to close and reopen for us. All right. All right. So we're going to start getting uh, set up here for uh, our connections. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to set up my uh, uh, bands here to be set up for digital. Okay, I have shortcuts to do that, so that works pretty well. Now, my next step is to go to channel selection, and very important, you want to do this uh, every time you go in, or at least once every couple days. Uh, update via internet. Click on that. If you have an internet connection, which hopefully you do, uh, this will update all of the stations that are available with propagation calculations. So it'll calculate the propagation based on uh, what the reported solar flux is. And you can actually go in with this and you can look at the forecast, all sorts of stuff, the map. You can uh, set the solar flux index to whatever you want. Uh, it does download it automatically. I'm going to scroll up to the top, and what I'm looking at is I'm looking at uh, all this stuff in the green. You've got path reliability estimate and path quality estimate. I could just pick the uh, AJ7C one right out of the gate, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to exit out of this. There's another setting that I want to make under settings, and I want to set best channel setup. What I'm going to do in this, okay, is I'm I'm not going to worry too much about any of the other any of the stuff on here other than lowest frequency and highest frequency. So I want anything from 80 to 20 meters, okay, to be eligible to be a usable or best frequency for me to use to connect to a uh, uh, VARA HF station. So uh, my lowest frequency is going to be uh, 3,500 kilohertz, and my highest is going to be 14,150 kilohertz, right? Um, and I'm going to go ahead, and this little checkbox is automatically skip busy channels. I want to make the decision if it's actually busy or noise. Um, I encourage you to look in to what that means uh, and how it discovers what a uh, busy channel is and what a busy channel isn't. All right, we'll go ahead and click save on this. Now, I am actually going to close this up for a second. And I want to make sure I have a message to send if I'm going to go through this. So I'm going to scroll down here to my list of people I know. And uh, let's see, let's send one out here to my good friend N6PK. And let's see, sending as part of a VARA uh, HF uh, instructional video. Uh, hi, Zach. Sending this to demonstrate Barra HF. Stu, AG6, AG. And then I'm going to go ahead and click post to out box. And then I'm going to go back up to my session and I am going to click over here to open session. I can also click on the open session uh, deal there. And it's going to open up my, uh, my VARA setup. And now what I'm going to do, you can see, by the way, uh, right above uh, all this, you can see my radio tuner. I've got that displayed in the computer right now with the computer program I run. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, let's click on best channel. All right, this is calculating out the best channel. So it's gone to uh, 7.1 megahertz which is 40 meters, and I need to tune for that. So I'm going to go over to my tuner here and try to dial that in. All right, and make sure that all my filters and everything are set right. 
And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's turn it up so we can also hear it a little bit, huh? Ooh, well, somebody's there. So this frequency is actually busy. But I think that's somebody trying to connect and unable to because it's repeating the same thing. And they're giving a call sign at the end. So there's somebody that tried to connect and couldn't. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. What the heck? Let me go ahead and hit start here and we'll see. I probably won't connect on this one. You hear I'm doing the same thing, right? So I'm going to try, remember my setting, I'm going to try 10 times. If I don't connect in 10 times, I'm going to send my call. And that's kind of the way this works. There we go. All right, well, I didn't connect. Gee, what a surprise. This is HF. We never really know what our propagation is, right? So I'm going to go to next channel. And next channel takes me up oh, not too far away. I'm at uh, just down a little bit. Let's go ahead and we'll try this one. Oh. Let me stop there for a second. I'm a little off here, aren't I? All right. Hey, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? All right, let's try that. I got an answer. What do you know? All right, let's turn our volume down. Now, all we have to do now is send our info. And here we go. We're making that communication. You can see it right there. And I am going to send a uh, message. Hopefully. And why do we worry about HF? Why do we have to go through this best channel thing and everything else with HF? Well, I want you to think about it. We really don't know what the propagation is going to be day to day, hour to hour. I mean, we don't. We don't. We have no idea, right? You know, so that puts us in that position that we don't know. And it makes it very difficult for us to calculate if we're going to be able to get to that particular station tomorrow or next week or next month. It always changes. Also, you know, uh, in an emergency, HF may be all we have. Let's face it, uh, a lot of the uh, FM VARA and packet stations that we're checking into, they may not be available, right? And, uh, you know, heaven forbid we lose our internet as well, okay? That's what we're going to use this for is health and welfare to get information out. So that's why HF is so important to do this with. And as you can see, I'm sending my message. Takes a little while, you know, 300 baud. That's all we get. But uh, you know what? Faster than carrier pigeon, isn't it? Um, anyway... We're going to wait for this thing to confirm. It's going to respond back to see if I have anything. If, oh, I don't, so it's disconnecting. So as soon as uh, it disconnects, which it just did, guess what? I'm done. Now, that wasn't real hard, now, was it? Anyway... That's about it. I mean, that's a. I can't uh, get much faster on that demo. And um, I hope I showed you some of the tools that you're going to want to use to walk through each and one, each and every one of those frequencies, right? Uh, each and every one of those stations, best to least best. 
Of course, you can go in that long list of stations and pick one. You can memorize stations that are going to be there. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's it's up to you on how you want to do it. Picking the best station will pick the best station based on the last time you downloaded information. Okay, so if you don't use this all the time, you're going to have stale information, and you may be better off using some of those saved stations. But that's for another video. Anyway, with that, um, any questions or comments, please make them down below. And uh, hey, if you have a chance. Click the subscribe button. Thanks. Well, you know, like I said, there's no reason for you not to do some pre-selects just in case you haven't downloaded that uh, propagation report and that station report in a long time. Uh, some that are reasonably consistent. But remember, it's not always going to be the same every day. You really need to pop onto your program to stay prepared and update that information because things change pretty rapidly. You can, by the way, update it via uh, radio and you can send a request and then fumble around, try to connect and maybe connect to a station and download all that. You have to connect twice, by the way. But um, once you have it, you know, you'll have a better chance at picking your best options for connection. Hey, well, with that, I want to thank you for watching. This is Stu, AG6AG, and oh, as always, click the subscribe button. And any questions or comments, make them down in the uh, comment section down below. I try to answer all comments in a couple days. So uh, please, they don't go ignored. So I want to hear what you think, and I, I want to read any questions you might have and try to help you. This is Stu, AG6AG73, and I hope to hear you on the air.